Hello, this is Afshin Ratatsin of On Ridley joining you from on board HMS President Broadcasting from the heart of London. Yes, from the world's only floating TV studio, we bring you a show which looks at the iconic status and asks if one person can really make a difference. Many of the people of Burma or Myanmar believe Aung San Suu Kyi is the one person who can bring about change, but are they pinning too much on the woman's regarded as the people's champion? Muhammad Ali Jinnah brought about momentous change to the political landscape of Asia when he became the first leader of Pakistan. This actor talks about stepping into the great man's shoes on the silver screen. And we talk to one of the most famous human rights lawyers in the world. And these two guests show that friendship, not leadership, can do more to promote peace in the Middle East. All this and so much more on the show which rocks the boat. Well, there was great jubilation in uh, the media when Aung San Suu Kyi emerged from house arrest six days after Burma's first so-called election in 20 years. But what happened next for the pro-democracy leader? Our first guest is her biographer. He joins us today to talk about the world's most famous prisoner since Nelson Mandela. Welcome back, Justin Wintle. Nice so, to see you again. Uh, Aung San Suu Kyi released. She's long called for reconciliation with the generals. What is her strategy now? It's a little hard to tell. I mean, um, she was met with this euphoria at her gates. Uh, she's obviously concerned about her party, the NLD, National League for Democracy, which has fallen into bad disrepair. At the same time, there is the need to try and create a dialogue with the generals. Now, I, it all revolves around sanctions and Western sanctions. Aung San Suu Kyi uh, has kind of reversed her, um, her, her take on that, and she's now saying that um, sanctions are hurting ordinary people and that they need to be lifted, perhaps. If there's one person who can persuade America, EU, UK, to lift sanctions, it's her. And I suspect the reason she's been given so much room at the moment by the regime uh, is because uh, they can probably... But Washington and the EU uh, want sanctions, don't they? Because well, some well, people because are saying this is about China. Uh, yeah, really. but they've, they've backed themselves into a corner because um, sanctions was the only thing we could do, and it was taking a, 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 an apparently moral line without looking at the actual consequences which were hurting ordinary, ordinary Burmese people. And as we all know, it's, um, it's very difficult uh, to swap a, a moral line, or an apparently moral line, for a practical line. Now then she talked uh, about a peaceful revolution. The military mm. junta will be forensically examining every word that she says. They're right. not going to like this phrase, Well, I think uh, that was in an interview with the BBC John Simpson, um, who asked her about what kind of revolution she would want, and she said a peaceful revolution. And the Hunter is more likely to hear the word revolution than peaceful, I'm afraid. Uh, but Porth, I mean, she's, she's been isolated for seven years, and I don't think she fielded that question from John, John Simpson very well. But she's going to make a few false, false steps as she, as she walks back into, into public life. What, a, what about how the Chinese mm. see this? Because obviously in Beijing, this is seen as the whole Burma question is seen as real geopolitical. Joking, well, and has nothing to do with the people of Burma, that what people in Washington are not The, the Chinese about. interest in Burma is for its resources, which are very considerable, and also because they're building a, uh, both oil and gas. And what's Washington's gas, interest? Gas, gas pipeline, so that's China's interest. Washington's interest is basically to be seen to be doing the right thing, I think. And uh, going back to, uh, to Aung San Suu Kyi, mm. she has this iconic status. Yep. Is that necessarily a good thing? Because if she's locked up again, she's, everything she's stops. She's got to be really careful. Um, when she emerged, it was amazing how you could feel uh, the crowd lifting her. And it was a wonderful moment. But she's got to be careful that she doesn't become an adulation junkie. Because uh, if she resumes where she left off in 2003 and goes around the country doing the mass rallies, uh, then she will be back under house arrest before you can say uh, uh, Pippa passes. Um, and is much better, I think, if she were to withdraw from the daily ruck of politics and become a kind of eminence grease and actually get something done like work on, on, on sanctions. If she can do that, then the regime will begin to trust her 
and it'll take a long time, but change is then possible. So you think a removal of sanctions is a way forward? Absolutely, I do. Because um, politics follows economics. I mean, even Vietnam now has a stock exchange, and things are changing. There are more rights in Vietnam. If you, if you get commerce up and, and running properly, then you get a, a larger middle class, you get more articulation uh, in a sensible way. Absolutely, I think that. Well, thank you very thank much you very for coming much. in, Justin. Thank you.